So I put on my Instagram story last night if you guys would like to see another day in the life because I only um, done a vlog not that long ago of it and I've had lots of people voted yes. So today we are going to see a college um, up in Bridgewater because as some of you guys know I am in year 11. Um, I've already gone and seen Pet Truck. But I've already decided what I want to do, so I'll go into that a little bit more later on while we're going up there. But it is five to seven now, so we're going all the way to the table, giving them breakfast, take out the horses' food, and then we're able to leave for about half past seven. Good boy. He's a good boy, aren't you? Hey? Good boy, let's go and see Dawny. Morning, Dawny. You right, girly? You all right? Good girl. Do your breakfast. Good girl. Let's see how messy he is. Oh, Dan. So normally he poos right at the back, but today he's decided to poo other places. Haven't you? Hey, just going to get his bucket out of the stable. Oh, Dan, how <laughs> he's kicked his haylage bucket to the front of the door. <laughs> this side good boy oh I can't get it uh, it's one hand good boy get back you happy boy right see Dawn in it uh, Dawn's got her breakfast she's got to take her magnetic boots off okay guys we put Danny's over each boots on so I'm now going to take out the poos in Danny's stable because I will be doing a morning and an evening winter routine vlog but I just found that it's easier to take out the poos in the morning so that they don't spread it all around during the daytime and then in the evening we take out the wee. So I'm going to get my poo.
not as bad. But Dan's happy going out in the field. Dawn's just finishing off the breakfast that Dan obviously doesn't want. Okay guys, so I thought I would show you what I am wearing today. So uh, where I'm going today, I'm doing going to see an equine course. So obviously I want to be dressed practical and it did say on the website to make sure that you're um, dressed in sensible clothes obviously. So I've just got on my navy just hog jods. I think I might have showed you these before. They've got a bit of a grip on the bum and then at the side, they, I don't know if you can see it in this lighting, but just down the side, no, it's got the just hogs down here. So they are the leggingified ones. They do have the belt loops because I know that there are some leggings out there that don't have the belt loops but these ones do i do actually have a belt on right now just got on a stripy sainsbury's t-shirt um because it's got a low neck and with this jumper it's also got a low neck so it means that you can't see it and then my jumper is an aztec diamond one so at the front this lighting is awful i'll kind of show you guys better but it just has aztec diamond equestrian along the top and at the bottom here also has aztec diamond and then there's a little logo up here as you can see now i've had this jumper i also have it in black i got this in 2019 so i've had it for a long time so they probably don't have these style of jumpers anymore they'll have different styles but I do love it, it's so nice, it's really warm and it's just, yeah, I really like it. And I've just got on my boots which are from Mole Eve when I got these from. Um, I'm not sure whether I wear these today though, I might put my wellies on, I'm not sure, I might keep these on. That is literally all I'm wearing today. I've also got a waterproof coat which is my Lemur crew coat in grey. Um, and yeah, that's all I'm going to be wearing. I've been told to take waterproofs as well. I definitely don't think I'm going to need them. But I've took them just in case. But let's get on because otherwise we'll be... Okay guys, so we're just in Tesco's garage because my mum's going to get us a drink because we haven't got one obviously. And then we will be going. We don't really know where we're going. We know it's Bridgewater and it's Cannington College but don't have a clue how to get there. So we're not going to use the sat-nav until we're like, I don't know, on the motorway or something like that. But yeah, hopefully it will be a good college. But I'm going to explain to you guys what I actually want to do in equine because I've given you a clue that I am going down the equine side. Um, but yeah. Okay guys, so... I've already told you where I'm going and that and I've told you that I am going to do go and see an equine course. Now I am thinking of being an instructor. Well I'm not actually thinking, I'm 90% sure that I want to be an instructor, which is kind of a laugh really. Um so Bridgewater, uh, people have come out of being like veterinary nurses and instructors and things. So I thought I'd go and try that college i'm also going to see victor and duchy not today though i'm going to see victor next saturday and then i don't know when the duchy one is but i will be going to see all of them to see which one i prefer um so yeah that's basically i'm going down the equine i wanted to be an instructor i haven't wanted to be an instructor for a very long time to be fair i thought about it in and out um but I just didn't think it'd be for me. But now I've actually like seriously thought about it, I actually think that I will quite enjoy it. Um, I've also already applied to go to Petrock because I went to Petrock about a month ago and I personally didn't like it. I didn't think it was the college for me. And obviously you can't do equine or anything like that at Petrock. So if I do go to Petrock, which will be very unlikely, um it will be to do like hairdressing or something like that because i've already thought about doing hairdressing for a while but when i went there and actually spoke to them it was just a, a big no but also the good thing is is when you go to college in september you get four weeks to decide whether it's the college for you so say i go to bridgewater and i do it for two weeks and i decide that i absolutely hate it i really do not like it 
as long as I've applied for other colleges, I can swap or move to a different college, so down to Petra or Victor or Dutch, whoever. Um, or if I don't like the course instructor, like being an instructor, I can change my course into equine. So you do get four weeks to make sure that you do that you do actually like your course, which I think is really good. Um, so after seeing today i'll probably apply because if you decide that i'm going to go to bridgewater so keep them on apply if that makes sense and then once you know that you're certain that you're going to go there and you're happy there then you just have to email the colleges that you've applied for and tell them i'm really sorry but i've already found the college or whatever like that, something like that so that is what's happening today so i probably won't be able to film too much because obviously i would have to really pay attention and ask questions and things but i just thought quite an interesting one to show you guys with because some of you guys that might be watching my vlogs might be the same age as me or you might be um, in year 10 so a bit interesting really also i did say years ago that i don't want to do anything equine i want to keep that as my hobby and then they went into wanting to be a saddle fitter and that idea was there for ages just wanting to be a saddle fitter and then i come out of being a saddle fitter to going into hairdressing um and that was for quite a while as well and then i then started looking into doing um like an apprenticeship at down farm so it'd be like a groom so i did think about doing that for a little bit and then i actually looked into it more and then i've seen and then i decided to go down the instructing path but zara um one of our local instructors i actually messaged her i don't know it must be about a month ago now to ask if i could be her shadow so that basically means to go with her when she's teaching someone and stand with her take some notes off of her and things um and then once we get into it and that then she might guide me to like teach someone or not like do the full lesson if not me but kind of do little bits if i can if i can see that there's like a mi little mistake she might tell me right tell them or whatever um but then it got cancelled because they all cancelled on her and then i was gonna do it in half term but i was busy with danny and things so i still haven't done that yet but um she did actually remind me on sunday when i went competing on the tannoid and said Millie we still need to do our shadowing so literally the whole pe whole lot of people at Coxley probably would have heard that so I do need to message you and find out uh, when I can go up there with her because that will be really good also you can go up through your BHS stages for your pony club so if you guys are in a pony club and you're thinking about being an instructor go up through your test so you have to do your E test your D test your D plus C B and all that um, and then you go up for your BHS stages um, and that can also help you to become an instructor as well although I do have a friend who's older than me and she would like to be an instructor as well and um, I'm going to do it with her so there's a riding school teacher and she's going to go up to the courses I have done for
we do have the sat nav on, we still kind of managed to get ourselves lost. God knows how. So guys, we basically arrived, although we are very early, sorry the sun's in my eyes, we are very early, so we're going to pull in and let Daisy, my dog, go to the toilet, and then um, we'll drive up there. Where So guys, if you're wondering why I've got my dog to come to college, that is because my dog literally comes everywhere with us because she's so much more happier if she comes with us. She doesn't like staying at home on her own. So wherever we go, she basically comes with us and then we let her out to go to the toilet and we also bring um, dog food for her and water as well, which is all in the car for her because she's so much happier when she's in the car. She's quite a weird dog. She'd rather be sat in the car than at home. So yeah, you're not going to go. Okay, so we're now here. We're sat in the car park. Should have actually filmed it. I wasn't thinking because I was talking. Um, but it's only 20 past nine and we don't have to go in there till quarter to ten. So we're just going to sit here for a little while. But it looks quite big. Okay, guys. So we are going there now. So I'll speak to you guys when we come out and let you know how we get on. Okay, guys. So we sat here for about 25 minutes go to walk in and then realise that we're in the complete wrong direction so we just got a, just a little bit further along but apparently it was really far to walk so we should be there in like two minutes guys this is we are here but I'm not sure where we've got to go to like speak but it's all good oh, oh sorry Okay guys, so I will let you know how we get on when we come back out and we're on our way home. Well guys, that was very fast. So basically we went there and we were speaking to them and that and the woman said to me, what would you actually like to do? And I said, I want to go down an apprenticeship. Um, and they said, well, you don't need to come here. You don't need to look around because all of my work will be done in my work placement. So basically, once I've found somewhere where I'm going to work, all my like college work will be all done with my work placement, which then goes all on like online and online. It gets sent to the college um, and then they sort it out from there. So basically, it means I will not have to go to college at all. Um, so I'll be working five days a week, which I'm actually really happy about because <laughs> even going once a week, I really didn't want to go. So I won't have to go to college at all. Every eight weeks, I'll get like a email or something like that to speak to the college person to find out how I'm getting on and that and how I'm getting on with my course. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So they said that we obviously didn't need to look round because looking around was more for people that would like going to live there and things so that was quite embarrassing but I've always thought an apprenticeship a was mile, turn right onto Brookside. I always thought an apprenticeship was you work four days a week and go into college once a week so that's why I thought right, I need to look round because I'll be going up there once a week and things but obviously that's not the case but then I'm glad I did go there because I wouldn't have found out that it's all done like online so that turn is right. That is basically what is happening. Um, yeah, the horses look quite cute there. So we're gonna make a day of it now because we've had to juggle everything around and my mum's had to take the day off work. So we might as well go over and see some horse shops. And we're also going to have lunch later on. So guys, we're actually searching for signals so that we can start looking for horse shops because we don't really know where any horse shops are. So we're gonna stop in a minute in and have a look. The roundabout. Okay guys, so we are basically getting lost with a sat nav. So all I'm gonna say, if, if, if anybody come out for a day with us, it'd be very entertaining because whenever we go out, we either get lost or something happens. So yeah, it's quite embarrassing really. So we actually went to a shop a few months ago and it's called Unicorn Saddlery. And oh my God, it was, amazing they've done all sorts they've done the myrrh 
um, Micklums, they even have Fairfax saddles up there. If I had the money, I would definitely get one for Danny. Um, Aria, like, it is absolutely amazing. Like, it looks really small from the outside, but it's massive. It's got, like, a downstairs and an upstairs. It, I love that shop. So that's all the way in Taunton, and we are, we don't even know where we are. Like, we've driven out of Bridgewater. We're either still in Bridgewater, God knows where, or we've Head driven... Head west on Road Lane towards Gloucester Road. Or we've mm. driven out of, um... Bridgewater. So we're gonna head back to Taunton and go in Unicorn Saddlery and there's also we're gonna go to Witch Hanger or not. Yeah. And there's also Witch Hanger as well, which you guys if you follow Life on the Left Rain with Tina and Banksy, pretty sure they went to Witch Hanger for something. It was either with mm. horses. Was it up on the way up to Victim? No. Anyway, in one of their vlogs they went to Witch Hanger. Um, so yeah, it's time. Yeah. Okay, guys, we must have come in. Okay, guys, so we're here. It's called the Unicorn Saddlery, and they must have changed it. They have changed it. This isn't the one that we came to last time. <laughs> okay, guys, so the Unicorn Saddlery that we went to a couple months ago was like down all these twisty back lanes, wasn't it? And it was like, yeah, I think we parked down there and went round the back. Oh, maybe. Yeah, we might have. It was like, it looked like really, really small, but it was actually massive inside, wasn't it? So, um, yeah, so obviously we've got to take our masks and yeah, that's it. I've changed your money mails from out the drawer. Yeah, I've got it in the back of my fingers. Um, let's go straight. <laughs> Okay guys, so we've just come out and of course we have bought some stuff, so I'll show you guys now. So I actually bought Danny a Lickit watermelon because he does absolutely love them um, and he hasn't actually tried this flavour yet before. I normally just get him the apple and the cherry but it's only been not that long ago that they brought out different flavours so I thought I'd give him a try. They didn't have any bars for Dawn but we do have two bars at home in our cupboard so we'll bring them up for them to have tomorrow it's one thing the next thing is so i have the lemur carbon gel tendon boots and they're going a little bit at the back a bit funny so we was looking at getting a new pair and on the actual website of horse health they no longer do them 
So today they've done their back fetlock ones that they don't normally do online. So we did pick them up. Um, I love these. You will have seen these in my vlogs, jumping and things. And then one more thing that we got, which was a bargain really, spotted it. It's the, hang on, let me just see what it's called. It's the Ultra Mesh Fly Hood in the navy which is going to be perfect for the summer when it's really hot and will also go with my pony club as well um and they're normally 26 pound 95 but i got them for 20 pounds so of course i had to get them so that's everything that we bought in there and oh my god they do a variety of lots of different stuff from aria le mer picure eurostar what else Free jumps, equilibrium, Lickit, Micklums, Fairfax, think, Shires, they literally all the brands that you can think of. It's really good. And as I said when I was in there, it's the first day of Okay guys, so we've just come out of Witch Hanger and as you can see they do Aria, a bit of Lemur and a little bit. It's not like um unicorn saddlery because they mainly do do horse stuff but they do like pets in there as well and uh they do a bit of farming and a little bit of farming so it's a little bit like Mole Valley but better than Mole Valley because they do more equine here whereas at Mole Valley you only get like a little bit of equine um which yeah it's a really nice store but we we um just bought one thing which was literally 99p so I'm just hand sanding my hands so we bought Dawn Her Lick It because even though we have got two at home, we thought, well, we can give them to them tonight. So we've got uh, the apple flavour one. And if you guys are wondering why we don't get, get her the Lick It, it's because she doesn't really understand how to lick it. Um, but she's better off with the bars, so that's why we go for bars. Okay, so we're now going to get some lunch and we're going to the Scarlet. Let's go. So guys, we have arrived. I'm just letting my dog go to the toilet again. Just walking over to the grassy patch. Um, and then we will go in. And I'm so hungry now. I'm really thirsty. Go. Where are you taking me, Days? Careful. Thank you. 
Sorry guys, forgot to show you it all, but scouting, Hunter's chicken. Okay guys, so we've just come out from eating from the Skylark and my mum's just going to walk Daisy one more time um the food was absolutely delicious it was so nice i'm so full that i literally could not eat any more and my mum said exactly the same she's really full as well and then we had coke for drink as well okay guys so we're now on our way home so guys we're back in tiverton where i showed you at like eight o'clock Okay guys, so I'm just going to my uncle's because obviously as you guys know that I went show jumping on Sunday and my vlog is already up and it's what a day, um, so if you haven't gone and checked it out, if you haven't already watched it then go and check it out, um, but the reason I'm going there is because there was a photographer there and they took some photos and there's two photos that I really like so my nan ordered them for me and they've arrived um but she's going to my uncle's so we're going to pick them up now as we're passing South Moulton anyway. So these are my two photos if you follow me on Instagram you will have already seen them but I'm really pleased with them. Look at this guys I'm not really sure what it is it's kind of like a bit of a quad bike but then a little bit of a motorbike at the front we've been following them for ages and they're like it's really speedy it'll go really really fast but obviously they've got to slow down when they go around the corners because it'll just tip over but it is quite cool to be fair obviously it's going to go slow now because we're coming in too lanky yeah which is a 30 mile an hour limit Okay guys, so we're now going to BJ's value house because the photos that I've showed you, we're going to get some mounts for them um, so that we can put them up. So we're going to do that and then after we're going to go to the stables. This is getting into the festive. Oh, they do do it. Mmm, Christmassy. It's only like November just. Yeah. I said it's only just November. Comment down below guys if you already have your Christmas tree we up. We're going to get some of this because me and Danny are doing something Christmassy but you guys don't have to wait and see. So guys, now that you've done to look what we're coming here for because we've been looking at stuff for other vlogs that you guys will see very very soon. Got money. Well, that's helpful, guys, because I don't have what we're looking for. But it hasn't been a waste of the journey because we've got some good stuff. So, guys, I don't know what's going on with this lighting and reflection. I'm very sorry. But we went in there um, to get the stuff for my photos and it didn't have the right size, which was really annoying. But I, do, I am glad that we did go in there because we got some very cool stuff, but I cannot show you guys because it is going to be in some vlogs, our vlogs, but I can't show you guys. You guys will have to wait and see until they come out. But we're now actually on our way to the stables. So you guys just arrived. Hello! So it's really dark that you probably can't see. Good boy, do you want to come in? Look at the state of that rug of yours. You've had a long day out. And Dawny, you're ready to come in, aren't you, girly? All right, Dawn. Good girl. Hello, Dan. Good boy. All right. Good boy. He's a good boy, aren't you? Okay, guys, sorry. It's really dark in here. I'm going to get the lights on in the stables because I need to carry on mucking out because obviously as you guys already know that this morning i took the poos out so all it is now is to take their wee out um and do his hay ledge and give him water and then you're all done for the night i mean there might be a few poos in there now because obviously we keep the doors open so they might have but they've been pretty good the last couple of days that i've been taking the poos out good boy oh 
She got another day off. Hey? Eh? You got another day off? Yes. So he'll get ridden tomorrow. I did ride him yesterday. I took him around the block bareback and he was very happy. As soon as I come back from school, he was literally coming at the gate, pushing the gate. He was so happy when he saw the bridle come out. Um, so yeah, tomorrow we'll go for a ride down. A little dawny because I feel mm, that dawny doesn't get in much vloggy video and if she does it's literally just like me going dawn's having her breakfast so guys if you have any ideas of what i could do with her but there is some rules so i'm gonna get the light on so you can see me better so guys that's better um so because dawn has got her arthritis in her knee it means that she can't do much physical like me lunging her or taking her out for a ride with Danny like riding and leading like I used to um so it have to be kind of stuff like that's up here that she doesn't really have to move much and not only that we've got nowhere where we can lunge our horses anyway but if you guys have any ideas of what I could do with Dawn then please comment down below below because I would like to include her in a lot more vlogs and I'm sure you guys would love to see her too. Good job. So guys, obviously there's a Danny Poo and two Poos that are Dawn's. But I can accept that. Okay guys, this is Danny's bed all nice and clean. About to empty the wheelbarrow. Okay guys, so Dan's got his haylage and he's very happy. I've took his overreach boots off. His bed's all been mucked out, or bring you back round. His water's all done. Hang on. So he's all done. All he needs now is his dinner. Danny, happy munching on his dinner, aren't you? Good boy. And Dawny too. She's been mucked out. She's got her hay. She's also got her water. Now it's just time to put her magnetic boots on. I've also got carrots in the dinner too. I know what else I've got you. Okay, guys, so I completely forgot that we bought them both their lick it. So I lick it bar and a lick it. I'm gonna give it to them tomorrow instead because like I said, I've forgotten and they're eating their dinner and it takes them quite a while. So he's now got her magnetic boots on and you're very happy, aren't you, Dawn? Right, see you all in the morning. Love you lots. No night. So guys, the horses are all done. We're now going to go home. We're finally home. Daisy eating her dinner. Lovely, it looks rank, Daisy. A nice hot chocolate. Okay guys, so now I've got my hot chocolate. I've actually ate my cream already. Um, But I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog it was a bit of a different one with not any riding involved but please make sure that you like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time bye